Okay, we, we've already been using this top one, but um, it turns out that the bottom one's also true. Um, we're not going to go into why it works right now, um, but we will because it's uh, you know because it's it's good to know and and you know this stuff we're about to do is actually kind of easy compared to explaining how this works and your teacher or professor will probably want to do that. So we'll, we'll we'll go over it, but right now let's just stick to the mechanics of it and get your because uh, this is going to improve your algebra skills. Okay, basically, here here we got, um, it kind of looks like a mass, and we need to get it. If we get something looking like this, then we can work with a one pretty easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, cosecant is just one over sine. So I'm going to rewrite this just like that. Okay, I'm going to write cosecant as one over sine. All it's going to do is just shove it in the denominator, really. So I'm going to rewrite that. And that's going to be x over sine 2x cosine 5x. Okay, you see that? All I did is I just switched this to a sine, and that stuck that in the denominator. Now, if I look right here, if if I have a 2 up there, then I've got my um, this form, don't I? So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply... Uh, I can't just stick a 2 up there. i got to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. So let me do that. I'm going to go I'm going to go limit as x goes to 0 of 2 over 2 times x over sine 2x cosine 5x. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Um, now I'm going to pull this 2 out, but it's going to be a 1 half. So I'm going to end up with a 1 half times the limit. So x goes to 0 of 2x over sine 2x cosine 5x. Okay, see what I did? I just pulled the 2 out. It's over here. I mean, it's still there. Um, but So now I've got... Uh, a situation where when I take the limit I get 1 and cosine as x as x approaches 0 cosine of 5x is going to approach cosine of 0 which is just plain 1 okay cosine of 0 is 1 um, cosine of 5 times 0 is 0 so you get 1 so we end up with but, well this is just this whole thing now is just 1 and multiply by 1 half times 1 and we end up with just 1 half out of that. So you see what I did there? All I did, you know, I just use a little, I just turned this into, a, you know, it's a sine identity and pretty and multiplied by 1 again, which turned out to be 2 over 2 in this case, and then pretty quickly this, this uh, problem that looked a little weird got pretty simple pretty fast. Um, so that is kind of a deal there. So let's do let's do kind of a tough one right here. This this one might be a little tough. Um, this one definitely might be a little tough. Ooh, you, you can see paper through there, and that's not like goes against the code. Alright. Okay, so what's this next one? I haven't worked this one out, so if I get stumped, um, just, just, if I ever get stumped while doing one of these, just, um, I mean, don't, don't feel bad, you know? I'm not like a really smart dude, but, um, you know, this stuff's pretty different. So, all right, what do we got here? So, first thing I kind of want to do is factor out an X. Yeah, let me do that. I'm going to factor out an X. And I'm just going to see what it looks like. Sometimes it's just trial and error, you know. See, I'm going to pull the X out of here. And that's going to be 1 plus cosine X over sine X. Cosine x, and that looks like it works pretty good because I've already got a 1 there. And cosine, as cosine goes to cosine of 0, 
uh, things get pretty good. So let me go ahead and I'll just cross that out because that's going to be one. Um, as cosine goes to zero, cosine of zero is one. So we're going to end up with one plus one and one. So one plus one equals two. Um, so that one ended up pretty quick too. Um, that, that, that wasn't, heck, you know, that was a pretty easy one really. Um, so we got like that. So, you know, it just takes a little bit of uh, messing around and, you know, these things, um, it's just mainly, you know, just recognizing what to do, um, trying to look for, you know, the, for, the, the form uh, that you can work on the best. Um, you know, and it just usually takes a lot of factoring, trig identities, multiplying by one, you know, which one could be three over three, it could be tangent theta plus secant theta over tangent theta, you know, it could be something weird. Um, so that's that. Cool.